out the basement and this game needs some saving and i'm ready for the action because i'm tired of the acting what happened to being great what happened to being fast to be late what happened to rocking shows what happened to spin flows been wearing the cons and the pros feel like i'm the only pro if we gonna go then go we can take it toe to toe i've been doing everything you've been doing but i'm really doing more i'm about to explode you gon' need someone to hold, hold, hold me. They cannot hold me, yeah. Slowly, ain't no more taking it slowly, yeah. Holy, you're dealing with something that's holy, yeah. Hold me, I need somebody to hold me. Nothing's for certain, but this I know. Father who art in heaven, I love when you toss me blessings. You never throw interceptions, I catch them like Odie Beckham. Hard to not f the devil when built like Tiana Teller and balling at 27. I feel like he mind Sherper. Know there's a disconnect when the sheep start to lead the shepherd. The weak start to be aggressive, the streets start to be the reverend. Bragging about first class, seated on 9 11. They spirits are not united, allegiance my soul forever. I murder my adolescence, assault with a friendly weapon. I verbally dissect them to help them get back together. Wanting the stranger things, I handle it. Like I'm stepping whenever I'm in your town The warriors in your presence I manifest my endeavors I'm blessed and I'm getting better I walk amongst living legends Coach Contra will live forever It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Buffalo Bills. And how about this for a start? This is out of bounds. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the errant kickoff. Well, that's certainly one way to avoid a dangerous kick returner, I suppose. But you are giving up extra yardage, that's for sure. Because if you put it out of the end zone, they start at the 25. So at a minimum, you're giving up 10 yards to the offense. Now 
Allen now on first down. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Got to hope that's not a sign of things to come as they face an early second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Allen. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. to throw it's Allen that's caught by his tight end Dawson Knox and he can only manage to get this to the 45 yard line well short of the first Allen will look to throw for it on fourth that's to his running back complete and he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out a curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Oh, Barney, that was a heck of a play right there because there is no chance that he was a primary receiver on that play. Definitely checked it down to him and just said, please, help us out, make a play. And he does and delivers a first down. Here's Allen on first and 10. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. And again, it's Allen. And that is incomplete. Oh, I saw this with defensive eyes because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away, that was his only option. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Here's Allen to throw it. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. try to throw for it it's caught and it's eight nothing interesting I mean they're putting their foot on the gas here early going for two to go up eight nothing well after that drive you have to believe that they thought to themselves if we can do that what's another two yards let's go get those and get two points as a result here's the Bills kickoff unit out as they will send this one away and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. to throw here. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer, and he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. We thought this defense would be opportunistic, and they were. Here, you're already up. Now you got a two-touchdown lead. I tell you, going out there on defense, did they have a little bit of extra momentum with a score already on the board? Oh, without a doubt. That already felt good to them. They took it and used it and obviously put up another one. But here's the thing now. Some defense coordinators might want to pull their guys back a little bit because they don't want them to make mistakes because they're too over -amp. Others say, I've got two touchdown lead. Go get them, guys. They'll be even more aggressive.
So after the INT, it's Allen. And he is in to make it 16 to nothing. I think we're sensing a trend here. Two first half touchdowns. After going for two after the first score, CD, I thought maybe they would kick the PAT here. No, they get two more. No, they decided to really press the advantage because remember, getting the two after the first score, you've already got the other team back on their heels if they're going to mount a comeback. But to go up two scores and two two point conversions, you've really got them thinking on the other sideline. Shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Taking it about the one. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They're already looking up at a 16-0 deficit. Still plenty of time to go, first quarter. But work to be done as they come up first and 10. Hurts now hoping to make up for that pick six. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Well, no matter your experience level as a quarterback, you throw an interception on that first drive, maybe a little shaken up. Nice response there to get their first first down. I think you make an excellent point. I don't care who you are. You throw an interception, it's going to get to you a little bit. But the ones that we've seen that are the best, you never notice it. They don't come to the bench, throw their helmets, they don't do any of that. They just go back out the next drive and act like it never happened. And that's what we're seeing here. Hurts throw here, take it in as he's able to find Goddard. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Second down and four. Hurts. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 16-0. That's the score after one on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. On second and ten, Hurts. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 13-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. From the 13 now, they work on first and ten. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And here he'll get it down to the seven. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Yeah. 
Ready. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Here's Hurts to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack, and they fail on the try for two. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. champions Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia PA today we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Los Angeles Rams and the Philadelphia Eagles here's the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field well, you don't see that often. He just mishit it, and it goes out of bounds. Well, I know sitting up here, and I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me, and I know we're both thinking the same thing. Isn't it easy enough to keep it between the sidelines? Because unless you're intentionally doing it for some reason, but that's a costly mishit, and now you put your team in a bad spot.
First and ten, Stafford. They'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 31. Now the first carry for Cam Akers. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Stafford to Jefferson on the slam. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. The Rams, they are on the move. They've got another first down. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his right. And the quarterback hit him in stride. He was able to run free after the catch. And he is going to lose yardage here. Tough spot looking at second and 16 here after the big loss. Back to throw, Stafford. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Ball in the gate of three on the play. And that'll make it third and 13. Teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. And Gay knocks this one through, and the Rams have the first points here. It's 3-0. Well, they had the great field position to start that opening drive. They only get three out of it, but still they get three. So maybe kind of a win for the offense, Charles, and kind of a win for the defense as well. Yeah, I would say win-win seems to sum the whole thing up because where that ball was placed to start, that's tough on a defense, and they held them to three. Now, if you're the offense, you're thinking to yourself, how do we open up the playbook later on in this game and turn this three into sixes down the stretch? And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. It's caught by Sanders. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. But it looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Ready! Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. 
And the Rams got him. They bring him down. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Okay, so after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go. There is a hush indeed. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. And this one's going to be touched down right at about the 35-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. A little jet sweep to start the drive. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down. Stafford trying to get it to Robinson and it's intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets him on the board first CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're letting them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding. But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We scored. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Stafford here coming off his pick six. Trying to find Cup, but it's intercepted. 
And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. And that now two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. Yeah, he did. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And this carry brought to an end at the eight. Good stick skills, just not much room there to operate. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. Another run with Sanders, and this time he is in. Miles Sanders taking it in from a yard out, and the Eagles are able to cash it in for six. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Elliott on for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. He starts with a give to Akers. And he'll be taken down at the 18. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Stafford. Eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now Stafford. And that one 
were too far in front, he couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front, completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. 53, ready. Now Stafford. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And oh, that would get a light up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Throwing is Stafford. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. First and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game in half that might provide a psychological boost. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now it's Stafford. Pressure comes and down he goes. So now Stafford and the Rams after the set. And they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. On Stafford for the third time is intercepted. And the Eagles will take over possession here up at the 44. It's so rare to see any quarterback toss back-to-back -back interceptions in the NFL, regardless of status or experience. Whether it's in person or just the offensive game plan, I think this defense is reading something out there, and they're holding the upper hand. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And this is caught by Watkins. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. Room here to run. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield. But also, when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. 
The kick by Elliott is good. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. To they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. And yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Shot before the break. Stafford. Throw left side. Complete to count. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Both these teams making their final halftime adjustments. We're just about ready to get back to football. So for the call of the second half, we get back up to Philadelphia and Brandon Gott. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So the Eagles with the lead and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. But first down, Hurts. This is Smith with a grab. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Take this from the nine down to about the seven. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. Here comes Sanders on the toss right. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. So they're back at the seven now for third and goal. Seven 
Here's Hurts to throw. Dance into his left. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Well, you admire anyone trying to pick up an additional couple of yards. They're just not worth it when you take shots like that. Quarterbacks have to stay in the game and stay on the field. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. And he'll use his blockers to get this up over the 20 to the 21. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll go again here with Akers. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. And Akers, he is not going to get there. They mark him short of the first. Here we go on four. Stanford. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And now the football is going to go over, already being placed at the 15-yard line. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he delivers a strike complete to Watkins. And the Eagles are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Throwing his hurts. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. 